All right, guys. We have come to invade mom and dad's house. Who is who's in this house? Who's ready to make us lunch? Where are they? Come here. Where are you going? You are just oh, Jay's here. here. Huh? Hey, Jalen's here. Ah, YouTube Yo. team. You guys have always been asking about Jayla. See Jayla, no. When you name him, Phil. He's making an appearance today. What's up, bro? What's up, man? What are you cooking? <laughs> Thank God I've not eaten. I'm hungry. White today, fish. Today I'm eating Jayla's food, bro. <laughs> today. What's good, bro? We How's it going? Hey, I'm doing good. Ah, what fish is this? Cod. You ever heard of cod? Cod? Yeah. What does it taste like? It tastes, it tastes smooth, man. It tastes smooth. Like, white fish tastes like flounder, like, mahi, mahi. I like white What is fish. flounder? <laughs> Jalen is speaking in too much. Which one is flounder again? What is flounder? <laughs> fish is fish. Is it tilapia? It's cod. Wild caught cod. That does look really, I love cod. Wait, what is that on your shed, though? Wait. Oh, this, this is, this is, this is powerful, man. Out of the world hair growth. Out of this world hair growth. Autoimmune disease defeated. We gotta talk oh about it. Oh my god. That's a god. new book. We gotta talk about it. Oh my god. So guys, my brother no. wrote a book wow. and he just finished, so now it's available. Wait, I remember you were it's sharing. It's the book cover right here. I'm getting ready for an interview today. Oh to nice. discuss all the details about my book. I've been writing it for Three or four months, but it's been wow. it's been years in the making. I remember you were telling me about your hair. You know, you you told me the story a little bit about your hair, but you never gave me full detail. I, are you okay talking about it on on YouTube? Yeah, I, actually, the t right now is a perfect time, honestly. Cause ah, so what will happen to the fish? We can come back and cook it after. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> On a more serious note, guys, <laughs> you guys need to hear Jay's story. Like, it's powerful. How he went from bald to all of his hair. Guys, look. He was this side of his hair, all bald, and grew his hair back to this, literally. Wait, I didn't know he was. He's going to take it out and show you. So bald, bald like that. Stick around. He's going to show you. Hey, right, guys, so while the cod is cooking. <laughs> it's not cooking, no. It's not cooking. <laughs> but, but, truth be told. <laughs> but, truth be told. His story is too powerful, so we. The only problem is you have to promise me that after you share this story, you have to cook that cod. Finish cooking the cod. We gonna get it in. Okay. <laughs> now, in. now the story can begin. But, but seriously though, you know, I like I like people to hear that story. His story is powerful, guys. Listen, listen. Yeah, my experience is just it's so in depth, mm. which is why I had to write a book about it. Mm. But I'm just so determined. To, to share my experience with mm. as many people as possible. Mm. And it was in late 2013 mm. is when I started to notice just dramatic hair loss. It wasn't like normal mm. hair loss, like a receding hairline or anything like that. Mm. It was hair loss that was coming out in patches. You keep in mind, at this time, I was 20 years old, legit. I remember all this, like with dates, like specific times, like I'm gonna remember these, these, these instances for my whole life. But I was 20 years old and I was an athlete playing sports. I thought I was extremely healthy at the time. Mm. So this happening to me, like the car knows, mm. it was just, surprise isn't even the word, it was just frightening, it was mm. scary. At that time, I was like, what is going on? To just have patches of hair coming out. And they were long, thick dreads. Yeah, I had dreads at the time. Mm. So when it, when it was happening, I was like, I was just like not really accepting that it was going on. I was like, this, this is not happening to me. Mm. It was not registering, or I just didn't want to believe it. Mm. Cause I knew it, it was severe. Every day, just losing hair like that. Mm. But the dreads, I was able to hide it. For some time, I was able to hide it with the dreads, mm. and I really loved those dreads. I was just when I was just starting to like them. This, this is what happened. So I'm having this hair loss, and then weeks go by, weeks go by, and during that time, I'm still like not trying to believe it. Mm. But it got to the point where I couldn't hide it from myself anymore. I couldn't hide it from anybody. I couldn't hide it from my parents, 
And that was a moment in and of itself, showing my dad what was going on and telling him, and then later telling the car, the car seeing what was happening all over my scalp. So who was the first person that, that you told? It was mom. Was it? Yeah. I thought it was me at the gym. You were no. like, look, I haven't shown anybody yet. It was it was mom because mm. me and mom, I guess because we, we do spend the most time with each other, like me and mom, but she, I ended up telling her first. And when I told her, it wasn't all that bad. Mm. But then it got worse. And then I showed my dad and I was just, I was scary to show him. And then the car saw that and I was like, can't really describe how I felt. It felt. I didn't want them to feel like scared. Like when 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 you're sick, like you kind of want to hide it. From, I wanted to hide it because I don't want my parents to worry about me and them yeah. to be scared for me. So I did my best to hide it for as long as I could. That's how we are. <laughs> me and yeah. him are exactly the same with that. But 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 what did you go for? Like check on what what did you do? Like how. When you notice that the hair is falling off, right? Um, what did you start doing? Like, did you did you go to the hospital to find out what was going on, or or how? What did you do? Because now I'm, I'm looking at your hair, guys. Look at the hair on his head. You know, like, how did you get back to this? I mean, most people go bald and they don't come back from that. Yeah, like so... you literally went bald and then you came back to this. How? Huh? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot transpired during that mm. time period. I, I view it now as like a transitional period of being unhealthful to being supremely health, healthy. Mm. So I did my own research and I never felt called or led to go to any doctor. Or, mm. So I didn't go to nobody. You didn't go to nobody? I went on the internet and there was no going back. I went on the internet, started with some... Funda fundamental searches of hair loss. And then that's when I first found the term called alopecia areata. I never heard that in my life until alopecia this day. Alopecia areata. Right. Mm -hmm. I found that out. That's a specific term. It's in, classified as an autoimmune disease. Mm. And like I said, that was the first time I ever heard. I didn't even know what alopecia was. Mm. So yeah, I found out. I self-diagnosed myself with alopecia areata, the mm. autoimmune disease, mm. because it was just blatantly obvious. It's hair loss in patches. It's not a receding hairline. It's not, it's just more severe, like mm. It's not like patches. a couple pieces came out from washing your hair. Mm. It's exactly. like I woke up and oh my God, a clump of hair. Wow. Yeah. It was scary for me, it was scary, and I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it, because it was scary. I was young, I was an athlete, and I was like, how is this happening to me? And during that time, I'll never remember, I'll never forget. I was, whenever I watched TV or whenever I went to the grocery store, whenever I was around people, I would look at 10 to 50 people every day. And I would always look at these people. And the first thing I would always see is their hair. Mm. I'm like, this person has hair. This person has hair. Mm. This person on TV has hair. Mm. Everybody in my family has hair. Everybody I saw for months had hair in my physical life. And I'm like, why am I the only one without hair mm. at 20 years old? So that was thoughts that played in my mind for months, like just looking at everybody in my life that has hair. Mm. So when I discovered that I had an autoimmune disease, that's when I took it so seriously. I didn't play any games. Like a, a, a switch in my mind went off and I was like, I have to take this seriously. I can't, I can't, sh I can't hide the feelings anymore. I can't hide it no more. I have to take this head on and I have to deal with it. At that point, I made the decision to end my football career. I stopped athletics. Wow. And at that point, I even took probably a year or two off from bodybuilding, from exercise, from physical wow. fitness. That's a lot. Because the things I was reading, the research that I was reading, um, a, a major culprit that I found was physical stress mm. and chemical stress. So I just wanted to take that time to alleviate the stress from my body. Mm. So I knew that I could not play football anymore. It was it was like an epiphany, like you can't play football no more. 
Wow. I I almost put this on the level as somebody being diagnosed with cancer. I'm not gonna say that I put it on that level of yeah. you just you got yeah. cancer. Yeah. But I, I pretty much felt like yeah. I got a diagnosis like that. So mm. if you get something that heavy, you're making dramatic changes to your life. Your life. And I just knew that my football career was over at that point. And it was. It was over that day. And well, I just want to say this to you, right? I'm proud of you. And and I I know you told me briefly about the story, but I didn't know it was this deep. Mm -hmm. You know, but I just want you to know that I am proud of you. Because a lot of times so many people get scared and frightened, you know, by that reality of their hair is falling apart and they can't even find the strength to want to look for answers. And the fact that you were going through such and you were able to like look for answers to the point that look, guys, look at his hair. Like mm -hmm. I'm not even, this is no joke. No, I haven't even seen it in so long. Like what is, how long is it now? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I I'm seen, curious. He keeps it bringing in. He keeps it in his pineapple. So I haven't seen it in a while. I'm curious. And you wait, show us. I have to show you <laughs> guys. He has to show us because at this point we have to see. But before that, right? So now all all that process, this book is serious business. Yeah, I was yes. gonna say. Serious. So is the book a culmination of your story? And telling people how they can get through it too if they also have autoimmune disease and alopecia? Yeah, my book brings awareness to a plethora of different components. One being people with alopecia areata, and then the other components, deeper, le deeper levels, um, addresses people with autoimmune disease in general, which is a more broader audience. But again, my, my book really goes into detail on how I, di how I discovered, how I developed this disease, like what I was doing in my life that caused this to happen to my body. So, so is the book out now? Or, or, or if, like, if people want to buy this book or read this book right now, where can they get it? Yeah, the book is, is out right now. Okay. The book was just released. Less than 48 hours ago. It's on Amazon. On Amazon? Amazon.com. This book is absolutely life-changing because I know it's going to benefit everybody. Everybody. I'm, so I'm we are going to put the link yeah, in the description guys. box, guys. Yeah. Don't ask where's the link. It's right in the description yeah. box. Jalen's book is available for ebook and paperback. This is... Um, I'm motivated. Like, you just inspired me, bro. Remember how I told you I yeah. have it? Been sick in almost eight years. We yeah, had that conversation. Yeah. We had that conversation. I yeah. haven't had a cough, cold, anything. Because that's the thing. It's deeper than just the hair, right? Like the hair yeah. is super important. Nobody wants to lose your hair. Yeah. But it's when you're treating the overall autoimmune disease, which is the underlying cause of so many diseases. Yeah. It's just an overall and, better way to live your life. And his diet is crazy. I can't even try it. Me that I eat every his diet is out of this world. Like you are strict on your diet, you know. That's that was the first thing I noticed about the only thing we share in common is plantain. He likes plantain and I like plantain. Oh, oh, <laughs> we are not gonna leave this table without you showing us your head. Yes. Nah, I'm pulling out the camera myself. <laughs> you guys, you have to see it. <laughs> see the magic. Let's see what's going on. What are we working with right now? <laughs> You are kidding me. That is so... Jay, you are kidding me. Guys, look at his hair. Nah, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Take, take, take this, take this. Likewise, for real. I'm proud of you, man. Everything that I went through, yeah. I learned because I know so many people yeah. will benefit. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Well, all right, guys. Go buy the book. Go and buy the book, oh. You guys support Jalen. Look at that hell. Go support. Go follow his channel. It, follow his YouTube channel. Is in the description box. Yes, please. Let's 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 support this young man. I'm proud of him. Let's support him. Jalen is okay. Stop coming down here. Let's go back to the fish. <laughs> I just thought about it now. <laughs> Jay, come, 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 come. Oh, it's time. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah wash, wash your hand. Wash your hand and come back. <laughs> Guys, the fish is here. Things I've been through, I can't explain it. I 